you know, the last thing I, I want to comment about Scott as an individual before we dive into the book is it has nothing to do with e-commerce. Uh, it has to do with him as a person, uh, as it relates to being a family man. You know, he's always talking about his kids. He has built his business uh, for purposes of lifestyle so he can spend more time with his loved ones. You know, that's my goal. That's your goal. I have listened to, I use Stitcher as an app to download all my podcasts and it keeps track of how many hours you've listened to. And I downloaded that app on my phone a couple years ago. And the other day I looked, I've listened to 4,200 hours of podcasts and I have never listened to a single podcast twice. You know, you watch old movies twice, but I've never listened to a single podcast twice with the exception of episode 786 from the Amazing Seller podcast. And the title of this was The Life and Death Game, Important Wake-Up Call. And this was an incredibly deep episode, and I don't want to spoil it for anybody who's listening. Um, and so I'm not going to give anything away. But uh, Scott had a friend who uh, was diagnosed with a, a terminal illness, and he kind of took a step back and, and in a very uh, emotional way, started talking about, you know, what is your why? Why are you doing this? Um, you know, we're, we're all going to die. We need to cherish this time. And I listened to that. It made me emotional when I listened to it. And just the other day, I was getting really frustrated with my business. You know, it's kind of the, the entrepreneur's roller coaster. And I listened to it again. And it, it kind of brought me back to earth, made me realize that all of these problems are not important in the grand scheme of things. I have my health, I have my family. There are so many blessings that I have. And in hearing that from a guy like Scott, it just it made a huge impact on me. And I think everybody should listen to that episode. Uh, it's heavy, but it, you know there are some much needed lessons in there. And, and I think you were actually the one that told me about that first. Yeah, I, I do remember that episode and it was, you know, it kind of humbles you, you know, you, you know, uh, on the last episode we talked about, you know, um, gratitude and, and, and yeah, like it can always be worse, right? Like um, being thankful for what we have and sometimes you need a reality check, you know, uh, to slow you down really, and really be happy with what you have. Uh, but yeah, that's a very, that's a very powerful episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think sometimes as entrepreneurs, we get, you know, we're always chasing the next best thing. I, when I first started, I wanted to get $100 in sales a day, and it was 1000 and then, it, you know, so on and so forth. And, and you're always chasing the next best thing. And uh, an episode like that, and just listening to a lot of his episodes, it kind of makes you realize that, hey, you've already arrived. You know, you, if you have your health, you have your family, you've already arrived. Yeah. You know, Aubrey Marcus says, uh, welcome to paradise, population everyone. And, and I, I really like that saying, you know, we're, most of us are incredibly blessed and uh, need to count those blessings and quit chasing the proverbial tail uh, during this entrepreneurial journey. 